Hello everyone, welcome to Lime Crew channel. In this video, we will learn about Helm. So let's get started. Helm is a package manager for Kubernetes applications. Package manager for Kubernetes application. What I mean by package manager? Package manager means that you can standardize the process of deploying any apps onto the Kubernetes cluster using Helm. So you can think it of as a Play Store or App Store that we have in our mobile phones, which manages different packages or different apps. You can think it of like this. So Helm contains multiple packages which you can use to, de to deploy any kind of app onto your Kubernetes cluster. So in a nutshell, Helm contains multiple packages or multiple apps. Why we need Helm? Because with, if we don't have Helm, then in a traditional world, if you have to deploy any application, what you will have to do is, but let's say this is your Kubernetes cluster. Let's say you want to deploy app one, right? You, you will deploy this app one manually. And let's say this is your dev environment. If you have to deploy the same app one on your test environment, you will deploy the same app one on your uh, test environment again using the same struct set of process which you have done in dev environment and the same process you will do for prod environment also and the same thing thing you will keep on doing whenever you have to let's say upgrade app one you will have have to apply the same manual process again and again across all the environments so there is a lot of manual task helm helps you to automate all these tasks what it does is so it says that you you create the instructions for app one deployment which you can think it of as a package. You create the instructions once. Once you have created the instructions, then you can bundle those instructions and send to Helm. So you can think it of as a centralized repository where you can send the instructions to deploy any package once. So as I said, you can think it of as any app in your mobile store. So you have created an app once, you have bundled the app once, and you upload it to Play Store or App Store. Similarly, in Kubernetes world, you upload it to Helm. Now, once it's, it's uploaded to Helm, now you can um, you can get the package uh, and you can execute the package on any environment. And similarly, if you want to do any upgrade, you can refer to the latest version of the package and you can run the deploy uh, run the upgraded package. So it helps you to install multiple apps, multiple packages seamlessly without doing any manual effort. So uh, this is about Helm, right? Now each package, each of the package which you upload to Helm in, uh, in this Helm architecture, this is called Helm charts, Helm charts. So Helm charts is similar to a single app or a single package, which is available inside helm so helm charts is a you can think it of as a single app or package instructions which you can use to get deployed onto kubernetes cluster right and there is another concept which is helm repository helm repo so any chart that you package and you deploy it to Helm, it goes to a repo, which is called a Helm repository. Now, if you are in a large organization, you can use the private repository for Helm, or you can use the public repository where Helm community contributes different type of packages or apps, instructions, which you can use to deploy on your Kubernetes cluster. For example, let's say you want to deploy Elasticsearch you can find a Helm chart for Elasticsearch, which you can directly use and it will help. You can use that package to deploy Elasticsearch onto your cluster. This is just an example. There are multiple uh, charts available for different apps, which you can use to deploy on your cluster. So these three are important concepts to understand within Helm. So Helm, you got what, uh, what is Helm. Then I talked about Helm chart and then I talked about Helm repo and Helm repo could be private or public repo. Now in terms of architecture, so Helm contains two components. 
first component is helm client and second component is helm libraries now whenever you want to uh, install any uh, any app or package the in the command for the same is helm install and then your chart name whatever helm chart you want to run on kubernetes cluster you need to specify that chart name and using this simple command you can install that particular helm package so in this command you would be uh, sending to uh, execute running it on helm client then helm client uses the helm li libraries internally to execute your set, set of instructions it takes those bundles or instructions um, for that chart name and for your information this uh, uh, this information or set of instructions or bundle package it internally contains set of yaml files uh, which eventually gets deployed on kubernetes cluster which eventually helps you to deploy any package onto your kubernetes uh, cluster so it this chart internally it contains it's a bundle of yaml files yaml files so going back to whenever you submit any helm install command it go uh, you uh, you submit this command on helm client helm client uses helm libraries and helm libraries internally uses kubernetes cluster to run your command and to deploy the relevant packages so this is how helm works internally that is all i wanted to cover uh, at a high level what helm is helm is like a play store or a app store which contains multiple package instructions those package instructions are packaged in the form of a yaml files those are bundled in the form of a yaml files and each package instruction is called helm chart uh, and then whenever you have to install any helm chart you can run helm install and then your chart name and uh, the management of all of the helm chart is done within helm repo which can be public repo or private repo so it helps you to automate the process of running or uh, installing any kind of app or package within your kubernetes cluster it this whole process becomes easy you don't need to do anything manually i hope you got the concept if you find this video useful do press the like button do share this with video with others and do subscribe lime channel thank you